late into October and that means it is spooky season. Now today I'm going to be showing you a bunch of different ways that I am styling latex this Halloween. Hopefully this will give you some ideas on your own Halloween costumes, whether you actually have somewhere to go this year or not. I know 2020 has been not what any of us expected it to be, so maybe you're like me and you're just going to be dressing up at home for Instagram and that is a-okay. Regardless of your plans, I hope you enjoy this video, I hope you enjoy seeing all the different looks and as I always say with all my latex videos, if you don't want to wear latex and you have PVC or wet look or whatever it is, it is of course all interchangeable and will give you a very similar look. Now I did pick most of the characters that were known for their shiny outfits, but of course you can like wear something like this to replicate any character. And especially on Halloween is the perfect time to step out of your comfort zone and try something a little bit different. So if you've always wanted to wear latex or something similar but never had the confidence, then now is the absolute perfect time because Halloween is a one night of year that you can wear whatever you want and no one can really say anything about it. Girl world. Halloween is the one night a year when a girl can dress like a total s and no other girls can say anything about it. The hardcore girls just wear lingerie and some form of animal ears. Doesn't she look great, honey? Now, of course, I always preach that you should wear whatever you want regardless of the day of the year. But at the same time, I know I personally, while I would wear a latex catsuit here on YouTube or on Instagram, I'm not going to go to the supermarket in it. But on Halloween, you can. But that is my intro out of the way. I want to hop in and show you the outfits as soon as possible because I am so excited. I want to know which one is your favorite. I will try and link as many of these things in the description box as I can, including any future videos where I went into detail about some of these latex items or my wigs as well that I'm going to be showing throughout this video. So check the description box if you want more information. But otherwise, let's get straight on into the first look. For costume number one, I wanted to demonstrate the most basic outfit idea, which is simply to go out and buy a costume that's made out of latex, or in this case, PVC. This costume I've got on here is actually a little nurse's dress and I got it from Honor UK. I will have the dress linked down below, as well as my little affiliate link, so if you want to purchase anything from the website, go shop through that link and use my code MADDIELUCA and it will save you some money. Now this costume also comes with a little hat or a headpiece and I just think it is adorable. Now they don't only sell women's costumes, they have men's and women's costumes, clothing, accessories, footwear, you name it, it's on the site so go check it out. The costume comes in four different colours so you can get it in white, black, red or pink. I just have it here in the pink to show you and I think it is so cute. So I've pulled my hair through the little elastic of the hat. And then just throwing on some little white sneakers and some pink socks. You could of course wear this with some heels but personally I would rather be comfortable and I think it looks super cute just with the sneakers anyway. I will just say that the dress is a little bit short and does run a tiny bit small so if you're between sizes I would definitely size up and what I've done to combat the shortness is simply wear some little shorts underneath so you don't flash anyone. Now moving into outfit number two, we have the truly iconic Barbie. Now for this look, of course, you're going to need a pink dress, a blonde wig, and a lot of pink accessories. Now these sunglasses I just got at a local boutique. The hair clips are actually from Zara Kids, and the earrings are again just from a little store in the middle of the mall. Basically anything pink will do the job. My dress is from Vex Latex. I did a haul of items from there a month or two ago. I'll have it in the description box. And my blonde wig is from, I can't actually remember the name of the company, but I will try and link it down below for you. As far as shoes, I really wanted to wear these fluffy pink pleaser heels, but if you haven't watched my live from a few weeks ago, you won't know that these are actually way too small for me and I need to return them. As far as sunglasses, she's known for having big pink or clear sunglasses or anything covered in diamantes. And of course for makeup, just go with a pink lip. 
I naturally have blue eyes so that works well but it doesn't really matter you don't have to get that specific especially if you're covering it up with some sunglasses and there you have it an iconic Barbie look For the third costume, I wanted to recreate a very common concept, which is simply throwing on some animal ears. So here I am in my bunny costume, but of course you could do this with any different ears. I got these ones from Forever 21. I actually think they had a variety of different ears. I just liked these best. They are lace and have some small little diamantes on them. And I think they look amazing with my little black tube dress that I got from Honor UK. Now here I am just showing you again the same concept but with a different outfit. So these are my pleaser boots. I have some little black booty shorts. These are just literally gym shorts. And then again from Honor UK, this little black corset. Two different vibes but still technically a bunny, although this one definitely gives off more playboy bunny vibes, especially if you can find a little bow tie to go along with it. Now when I got this dress, I actually had a different costume in mind, so here is a different way to style a basic black dress. Of course, Posh Spice didn't always wear latex or always wear black, but she definitely was known for her little black tube dresses, and then when you pair it with this little sleek bob wig, I definitely feel like it gives me Posh Spice vibes and I am all here for it. Funny story actually, when I was in grade 5, I was in a school play as the Spice Girls, although I was ginger spice, not posh. But yeah, I still kind of remember the dance, but ignore the super cringy dance moves here, I just couldn't help myself. I feel like posh was always known for her kind of outrageous shiny outfits and they were just absolutely iconic. So quickly back to the bunny, I just wanted to show you the corset in a little bit more detail, but I also think this would look amazing with, as I said, any ears, particularly what I have here, some little cat ears. Now with the changing ears, you can obviously be just a cat, or if I swapped out these shorts for some black leggings or particularly some latex black pants, this would be amazing for Catwoman. Now, of course, with all the different movies, as well as the original comics and all cartoons since, Catwoman's costume has had many different variations, so you can really take this a number of different ways. But personally, when I thought of Catwoman, all I could think of was, I have to get a cat suit. So that's exactly what I did. So this here is my Catwoman costume. Same ears, but paired with a latex black sleeveless catsuit from Honor UK. Of course, you could have a sleeved catsuit. This is just the one I managed to get my hands on. And you could again pair it with some gloves, but I have acrylic nails, which I've said in my previous videos. And while they're great for cat claws, I really didn't want to claw through my gloves. This would be ideal to pair with a whip, but I don't have one. But I did put on my pleaser boots again, but you don't really need over the knee thigh high boots when you're wearing a full cat suit anyway. I just chose to put them on because I thought it really made it look even more edgy than without. Now when I saw this red catsuit on honouk.com, I just had to get it and recreate this iconic look from Britney Spears' music video for Oops I Did It Again. Originally I was thinking it was the Toxic music video, but I was proven wrong. It is from Oops I Did It Again, and what you're going to need is the red full catsuit, a blonde wig, and ideally some red shoes. This wig I did show in a previous wig haul. I just got it off of Amazon, so I will link it down below if you want to go check it out. I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of obsessed with Britney as a child. I got the show bag 
I had all the little pins on my backpacks and everything. I was super into it and just couldn't help myself but to have a little bit of a dance party while in my costume. Now to get the hair like hers, you just want to grab the front sections of your wig or if you just naturally have blonde hair then I guess that works too and then pin it under the back and then I just tied it off even better with a little hair tie. Now actually after looking at these pictures I could have taken even more of the hair but again I am working with a wig so you can't be quite as particular you just kind of have to go with what you can and I think it turned out pretty close again as far as you can get with a synthetic wig. Now keeping on the same catsuit, but this time without the wig, I decided to recreate a devil costume. Now these ears are from Honor UK and the shoes are just from a local boutique. Now any hair colour will work for this, so I just chose to wear my natural hair, but I honestly could have got out a little red wig or something instead, but I think it looks really cute just like this. If you have a little trident slash devil stick thing, that would be great. Or I also kind of like the look of being a little bit more edgy by unzipping it a bit, especially since I had on a plain black bralette underneath. I thought it looked super cute. And you are pretty covered. Even though it is skin tight, you are still fairly covered for a Halloween costume. So in a way, it's almost a conservative look, <laughs> if you would believe it. Especially considering my next devil costume. Now this one I think I like best. It's my favorite of the two devil costumes and I actually did take inspiration from this picture I saw on Pinterest but I went ahead and put on a long black wig. Ignore the fact that it's not pulled all the way down at the front and the fact that I don't have any black hair ties. I only have my blonde ones from when a month ago I was bleach blonde. But I have on my latex leggings and bralette from Vex. This jacket is just a faux leather jacket from I think ASOS a little while ago and I paired it with these tiny black sunglasses because I just thought it gave such an edgy look, sort of like the devil if she was a baddie. I actually filmed some TikToks in this look and used these sounds from Maddie Perez from Euphoria because I don't know what it is about this devil costume, but it was just really giving me Maddie Euphoria vibes. Again, you can wear it without the jacket, with the jacket. I actually think it looks better with the jacket, but up to you and it depends on how hot or cold it is where you're at this Halloween. And that is it. That brings us to the end of my Halloween little lookbook. I hope you enjoyed. Of course, let me know in the comments down below which was your favorite outfit. I would love to know. If you do have plans this Halloween, what are you dressing up as? And if you don't have plans, what would you wear if you did? Also, I would love to hear what other costumes you would like to see me do next year or in the future. I am considering doing more cosplay type videos where I just take one character and go into depth and get all the details right because I know for example, with this look, my Catwoman costume wasn't 100% complete. I don't have a full face mask or any goggles. I don't have a whip and my arms are bare. I do have some black latex gloves that I would have put on with this look, but due to the fact that I have acrylic nails, I just was not gonna risk ripping my gloves. I hope you can understand. But if in the future you would like to see a full completed look on any of these characters or any other characters let me know in the comments down below and whichever comment gets the most likes i will try to do for you in the next few months now if you did like today's video it would really help me out if you give it a big thumbs up and of course subscribe to my channel to see more latex and non-latex related videos i do have one more halloween video planned this month as well as plenty of amazing videos coming for the next few months that I have already pre-planned and I just know you're gonna love. So yeah, if you want to see more from me, then subscribe. Why not? It's free. Go for it. But that is it. I'm gonna go peel out of this latex, shower, get all the dressing aid off my body. So have a good night. Hope you enjoyed.
See you next time. Bye. Thank you.